Okay, I started this channel mainly as a review channel for fragrances, but now we are expanding the topics to men's health, um, self-care, grooming and such to help men and boys and boys transitioning to men because I believe that all of you can be a better man than me. Alright, for the first grooming mistake na baka nakalimutan na natin. Number one is a proper hairstyle para sa'yo. Hindi yung kung ano yung uso. Hindi yung sunod ka lang na sunod kung ano yung nakikita mo sa IG. Hindi kung ano yung gupit ni Idol. Eh yun na yung pinapagupit mo. Hindi. You have your own style. You have your own personality. Gamitin mo yun to your advantage using your proper haircut. Natatanda ako nagkaroon ng time na na yung mga undercut na tinatawag and then mahaba dito. Ang dami nung ganyan before. And hindi nila alam, hindi bagay sa kanila yun. Maraming hindi binabagayan yun. Iba-iba tayo ng facial structure. Iba-iba tayo ng talim ng jawline. Depende rin kung may facial hair ka. Pero I know for one, meron kang isang hairstyle na gustong gusto and bagay na bagay sa'yo. Alam mo sa loob mo yun eh. Alam mo yung paglabas mo ng barberia, iba yung feeling mo do sa style na yun feeling mo, yun yung para sa'yo. Yun yung para sa structure ng face mo. Stick with that. I suggest. Kasi through the years, sa paglaki mo, I know, nakapag-experiment ka na din. Sa dinami-dami, maikse, kalbo, uh, nilalagyan ng gel, ng mousse, or whatever, styling products. Merong isa na talagang komportable yung balat mo dun. And kapag komportable ka dun sa gupit mo, magmamanifest yan sa kumpiyansa mo, the way you walk, the way you speak, hawa-hawa na yan. So, primera yan para sa kumpiyansa mo, proper haircut. Number two na baka nakakalimutan nyo, teeth. Yes, teeth. It's one of your greatest assets. Ang daling i-flash nyan, ang lakas maka-attract nyan. If loss nyo, um, sipil nyo lagi, at least every meal. Or twice a day at least, di ba? I mean, huwag nyo nang katamaran yan, tayo na. Iipin nyo yan. Iintayin nyo pa ba magkabulok-bulok na yan at bumaho ang hininga mo, di ba? Medyo nakaka-off naman yan. Kahit ako tropa mo, tayo na. Pagambaho ng hininga mo, parang, <laughs> parang ayaw nakatang kausapin, tayo na eh. And if medyo madilaw yung ipin mo, let's say malakas ka mag-coffee or what, mag-soft drinks, ang daming teeth whitening products, mga strips, mga binabrush mo lang para pang paputi. Or better yet, visit your dentist. Sila mismo yung makakapagbigay sa'yo ng best option kung paano mapaputi yung ipin mo. So yeah, teeth, alagaan mo yan. Yan ang unang makikita sa'yo. Alright? Number three, nails. Fingernails. Tayo na. Simpleng-simple yan. Hindi mo kailangan na maraming pera dyan. Pero ang dami ko pa rin nakikita na kausap mo, parang marami yung kuko, ganyan. I mean, hindi naman sila nagko-construction or they're not into arts, you know. Hindi naman sila pintor, hindi naman sila nagpe-paint, hindi naman nagbubungkal ng lupa for a living, alam mo yun. You practically don't have any excuse. It's a sign na kaya mong alagaan yung sarili mo. Very, very small detail lang yan. But it goes a long way, lalo na if you're trying to attract um, people. Kung baga, you're trying to uh, give a good impression. Let's say office, interview, ganyan, or dates even. Diba? Emergency situation. Sige, let's say, kumain ka ng ano. Kumain ka ng adobong pusit. Ganyan, nagkamay ka. Just wash your hands agad. And tanggalin mo lahat. Tanggalin mo lahat. At least man lang malinis yan kahit medyo may haba. <laughs> okay? Deodorant. Iyan ang bilang lalaki, iwasan natin yung mga muy putok tayo. Okay lang na pawisan. Okay lang na pawisan yan. Makikilkili natin. Mamawis yan, natural yan. Pero ang sinasabi ko, yung namamaho, yung amoy putok talaga. I mean, LRT, for example, yung mga nakahawak sa handrail na ganyan. And then nandito sa tabi nila, I mean, you're polluting the air, man. <laughs> I mean, don't do it. I mean, magkano lang hindi yun. Magkano lang reksona, may mga sasyay naman yan, di ba? Pinapawisan ka man, at least hindi ka mabaho. Speaking of baho, 
fragrance. You need fragrances. I don't care kung mura yan, kung mahal yan. What's important is you make it a part of your grooming. Iba na yung mabango ka. Kahit naka Bench 8 ka, Atlantis, uh, ano yung Oxygen. Yeah. All are valid. Okay? Naka-brut ka, taka-aspen ka, cool water, whatever. Ang importante, mukha kang mabango and totoong mabango ka. Yun ang importante. If you wanna give a good impression sa tao, sa ka-date, job interview, or just in general, iba yung mabango ka. Iba dating yan. Ngayon kung nag-iisip ka kung paano magkaroon ng pabango, paano pumili ng pabango, I have a video of that right here. Okay? Diyan, magsisimula ka kung paano mag-build ng collection ng pabango para hindi ka lang talaga mukhang mabango. Totoong mabango ka. A good fitting shirt. Something like this. It fits you perfectly. Hindi sobrang haba dito sa sleeves. And even dito, hindi rin siya sobrang haba. Kumbaga, it just lands. Yung dulo ng fabric sa baba, it just lands on your pubic region. Kung sobrang haba, magmumukha ka manipis na manipis, okay? Makawalan ka ng width or ng lapad. And alam natin, mas maganda na magdala kung malapad ang balikat mo. Kaya kung di malapad ang balikat mo, start exercising kagaya ko. <laughs> But yeah, a good fitting shirt. Kahit ano pa yung size mo. Kaya XL ka pa, kaya medium ka, kaya small ka. Kaya may mga sizes. Okay? And kaya may fitting rooms. Utilize it. I am medium size ko. Pero I opted for smaller sizes. Kasi before, when I was making that mistake, gusto ko lumaki yung itsura ko. Gusto ko magmukhang macho-macho, ganyan. Kaya body hugging, ganyan. Eh minsan, pag bagong kain ako, medyo nagbabulge yung <laughs> yung chan ko. <laughs> so I'm having a hard time to suck it in yung chan ko. Medyo effort siya. Pero when I when I um, did the mediums na medyo nawala na yung problema ko na yun, tama na rito yung width niya. Hindi na siya, hindi na niya kinokontrol or kinokompress yung mass na meron ako. So in turn and in effect, mas maayos ko nang nadadala yung mga medium versus dun sa small. And that's the difference. Kaya may mga small, medium, and large. Know your proper size, okay? This is something na binabaliwala ng mga lalaki. And I hope hindi nyo nabaliwalaan kasi this one is for you. It's your skincare routine. Alright? At least man lang, meron kang isang panghilamos na cleanser, isang sunblock, and isang moisturizer. Okay, lahat ito makakatulong. Uh, lalo na yung sunblock. Ang init dito sa bansa natin, you need that. SPF, I don't know, maybe 50 at least. Si Belo, may mga products na na suited for the Filipino skin. You may want to give it a try. Kasi the more na nasisinaga ng araw yung balat mo, the more na kumukulunto yan over time. Parang lupa lang yan eh. Kapag sobrang tuyot at exposed sa araw, nagbibitak-bitak. Pero kung ang lupa, sagana sa tubig, smooth yan. That's why, kailangan nyo din ng moisturizer. Plus, proper intake ng water. Hindi yung kung kailan ka lang nauuhaw. Water makes your skin more plump, more flexible, and clearer. Alam mo yun, mas hindi siya magpuproduce ng oil if marami kang water intake. Your sebaceous glands are signaling a release kapag feeling niya eh, medyo dehydrated ka. Okay? Kaya hydrate, have proper skin care, maayos na panghilamos, moisturizer, and sunblock. Yun lang. Kahit yun lang, set ka na. Okay, accessories like watches, bracelets, earrings, necklaces. Hindi ka pa nagsasalita. May idea na ang tao sa'yo. Let's say you opted for beads, ganyan, and then medyo, medyo bohemian ka magdamed, let's say ala Russell brand. They will already know, they would have a big idea kung what you're into. Ano lifestyle mo? Are you this uh, neat na maarte na tao? Are you this um, 
rockista who's rocking, uh, you know, leather cuffs. Or let's say you're a surfer dude. So you just pull off these beady necklaces and maybe beady uh, bracelets, di ba? At least they would have this general idea of what you're about, what your character is. In turn, mas madali ka nilang matatandaan. And yun na muna yung part ko sa inyo ngayon. I hope may natutunan kayo. May mga na-remember kayo sa mga nakakalimutan nyo na. And yes, it would help me if you subscribe to my channel so I could give you more useful tips and practical tips like this. Alright, see you.